Welcome back to another thrifted home decor video. This time it is a haul and I'm going to share with you guys some of my recent finds. So first let's start off with the wall art that I have recently picked up. Not everything has a home yet, but I wanted to share one of the coolest finds I've ever found at a thrift store. It's an aerial view of the entire city from the 1980s. I actually came across the page that has the part of town that I grew up in and currently live in and my plan is to take it out and have it framed. I love picking up coffee table books at the thrift store because they are very inexpensive. All of these books were under $1.50, some of them were as cheap as 50 cents. And when it comes to purchasing books, I have two rules. Number one, it has to be something that I will want to read. And number two, as cheesy as it may sound, I generally look for books that have a nice cover and nice spine just so when I do stack them they are more visually appealing. And finally, we come to the knickknacks. Most of these items came from the thrift store. However, the two letters are from a local flea market. This box was from Savers. It was only 99 cents and it's a great way to store some of our family photos. So I decided to use one of Punk's coloring book pages and a Polaroid of our mom and dad and put it in this shabby chic frame from Savers, only 99 cents. And there you have it. So I recently visited my friend's new apartment and saw that they had a ladder but they used it to display magazines so of course I had to use that idea in our house. And I'm pretty sure we already did a DIY on this but I just decided to change out the flowers. I hope you guys all enjoyed and got some ideas on how you can use thrifted items for your own home decor and I will see you guys next time. Bye!